Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, design pressure in pressure vessel with limpet coil. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Which is calculation 6. Very interesting. Most of the time you will get that. Okay, limpet coil. So we have a 10 bar absolute pressure in the vessel. Limpet coil with 2 bar absolute. And atmospheric as usual 1. Okay. What is limpet coil? You can see that. Okay. You can see in the image. Uh, there are coils which are used for sometimes heating purpose. Sometimes maybe cooling also. So, if there are limpet coil, okay, in many reactors, you will see, you know, uh, if you want to maintain that uh, liquid at certain temperature, you use the heating, you know, same as jacket, okay, same as jacket. Okay. So, it's used for heating or maybe cooling also, okay, reactor, yes, reactor, you will see that. So, if there are limpet coil, okay. So limpet coil is nothing but so this is uh, basically a pipe which is half cut. Okay, half cut pipe. Okay, and welded directly on the shell. It may be there on the dish ends also. Okay, so half cut pipe and it will be spiral kind of thing. So whatever liquid is there that will be moving like that you know, a spiral mode. Okay, so construction is clear. Half pipe. And then weld it directly on the shop. There will be nozzles through which the liquid will come inside that and it will flow you know, in the spiral mode. Okay. Like this, it will flow. Okay. Now, internal pressure, I think all of you will be very clear. What is the internal pressure in this case for which you'll be designing that vessel? Nine, right? There is no. Uh, problem at all. What about external? What do you think is the external pressure in the limpet coil? You have two bar. Atmospheric pressure is one. Okay. And you can consider that vacuum scenario may exist. Okay. Consider that vacuum is possible. In that case, what will be your external pressure? See, two bar absolute means that is the pressure which is at two bar absolute. So already one bar is there by atmosphere and one bar additional. So absolute takes care of atmospheric. It is there included. Okay. So the answer for this may surprise you. Okay. That external pressure. Okay. Now just wait for some time. Let, let, let us you know, have a discussion. Okay. So external pressure for which you'll be designing is considering, uh, you know, you have a vacuum also, which may be there. So external pressure will be only one bar absolute. Now you'll be asking why, you know, how that happens, because a vacuum may exist and here we have two bar pressure then that pressure will be acting, right? So the resultant is two bar. Okay. But now here is the thing, okay? For external pressure, your length is very important, okay? If you have understood the external pressure calculation, length plays a very important role, okay? So, so this pressure in the coil, definitely it is acting as external, but it is acting at a very short length. Okay, you cannot accumulate like it is not creating the similar effect which will be there because of a jacket. Okay, if I have a jacket which is creating pressure on this complete length, it can create some buckling effect, right? So it is acting on the complete length. If uh, you can just imagine it like or uh, you know visualize it like. If I am trying to break a, let us say I have a pen. Okay, this pen is there. I hope you can see. 
So if this pane I want to break with the complete length, it is relatively easier, right? If I take only the small cap and I want to break it, I need lot of force, right? Are you able to visualize that? That is what happens with pressure, okay, the effect of total length. Yes, okay. So for that, you need to understand the external pressure, right? So did you guys get it? If I have to break a pin, you know, you can see in the video, if I have to break it, complete length, it will be easier because the length is more. If I just want to break a small length, I require more force. So that is basically buckling. Okay. More length, more problematic. Small length, it is more rigid. Okay. So external pressure effect will be much higher if your length is there. So in this coil case, because our length is very small, okay, it becomes ineffective. Okay. So you don't have to do the external pressure calculation for two bar. If the vacuum exists, one bar is sufficient. Okay. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.